Hey everyone, welcome back to another SAT math video. So this one says, in the given system of equations, R is a constant. If the system has no solution, what is the value of R? So I already done some of the work here because writing with a mouse is very hard. So we just arrange the top equation into slope intercept form. Um, so we get Y equals 48 X over 102 minus 24 over 102. And we compare that to the other equation, which is stated ry equals 1 6 minus 16 x so this is important because you want to know the actual slopes right so our actual slope here is 48 x over 102 and this one over here is negative 16 x and this is important because when you talk about a system with no solution that means the lines don't intersect and in a system of linear equations the only way that those two lines don't intersect is if those lines are parallel right and how do you get parallel lines well, you need the exact same slope, but different y-intercepts. So we can see here that, yeah, they have different y-intercepts, but they need the same slope, which they currently don't have. But we can give them the same slope by changing r to the correct value. Another thing to note here is that negative 16x can be rewritten as negative 48x oops, over 3. Right? That's the exact same thing as negative 16x. And now we can see the direct comparison between negative 48x over 3 and 48x over 102. So from 3 to 102, what value is that? Well, that value is 34, right? So if we get the value of 34, we can actually convert uh, the denominator of 3 to the value of 102. Another thing here is that r we know now has to be 34. Right? Because if we divide both sides by 34 in order to isolate for y, dividing a fraction by 34 is the same thing as multiplying the denominator by that number. Another thing for r is that it will have to be negative. Why? Well, because this top slope is positive. Right? For our current slope down here of negative 16x, that is negative and that translated over here. We have negative 48x over 3 instead of a positive slope. And so if r is a negative number, that means ultimately when we multiply it into that denominator of 3, we're going to get a negative value in the denominator as well. A negative over a negative is a positive, and therefore we will get a positive slope there, which should work out. So let's just go right through. If we set r equal to third negative 34, let's see what happens. So we get negative 48x divided by 3. So we're going to divide everything by negative 34, and that's the same thing as multiplying the denominator here by negative 34. So we'll get negative 48x over 3 times negative 34 is negative 102. So negative 102 or negative 48x over negative 102, like we said before, is the same thing as just 48x over 102. So we can see now that the slopes do line up, right? 48x over 102, 48x over 102. It's kind of messy, but you get the idea. Um, the other thing we have to make sure here is that the y-intercepts are different, and they are vastly different, right? We got 1, 6, uh, and if we have a value of negative 34, um, that's the same thing as multiplying 6 by negative 34. That will give us a very small number, right? A much smaller number compared to 24 over 102. Now, that means that the value of r has to be negative 34. But that was such a long, you know, complicated process. So there is an easier way. And that easier way is, of course, Desmos. All right, all you got to do is plug the top equation in, plug the second equation in, have that r, whoops, have that r, set a slider for r, and just drag that point, right? Just drag this until those two lines are parallel, right? Until those two lines don't intersect, that is your value of r. That is the value of r that satisfies the equation when there is no solution. So that does it for the video, guys. If it helped, make sure you subscribe and check out our other SAT prep videos, and I'll see you in the next one.